Hey guys, this is Coach Chris. Welcome to my channel where we break down international level fights for strategies and tactics that you can use in your own matches. Uh, today we're watching a short clip from a Tesla from Turkey against uh, Cisse from CIV uh, from Cote d'Ivory. I, I don't know how to pronounce the country properly or how to say it properly. Um, Ivory Coast is the proper way to put it. But today we're asking the question, should you point your toes during a head kick? Well, let's watch this clip and let you guys figure that out. So, whoop, oh, whoop, oh, oh, okay. This is in the final of the Grand Prix. Oh, very nice. Did you guys catch that? There's three points on the board. But how? He kicked him in the body. But did he really? Boom. Watch this. This, I, uh, the first, I watched this just a second ago and this really blew my mind. Um, Watch uh, a Tesla here in blue under the armpit and it hit the back of the head. So in order to do that, in order to catch someone's armpit, you need to point your toes. You need to point your toes and have them curled back almost as you're kicking. So that way the tip of the toe is made in contact. If this is the headgear and the armpit is here, it's doing this so in behind the arm like that. So. I guess the big question is, should you point your toes during a head kick? And when should you? I would argue that in the clinch, pointing your toes is a good idea. Um, if someone is trying to block, obviously if your foot is flat, someone's trying to block like this, like, like that, a flat foot is gonna fall flat. If you point your toes, there's a chance it's gonna poke through and hit the head gear. Um, if, they're, if you're a little bit more range, obviously you wanna point, you wanna, instead of flexing your foot, you wanna point, uh, point your toes because you want to uh, get that extra range. But this is something really unorthodox. I have not seen yet before. Not, not in, I haven't seen someone kick under the armpit and score a headshot at all, ever. Boom. So behind the head, great, great shot here. I think kicking behind the, um, kicking with your toes pointed is, is a, I think a really interesting option at close range obviously it's going to hurt more on your toes but if you're able to make contact it's all that pressure in one spot uh, personally i had lost to thailand because thailand was really good at pointing his toes and sneaking it behind my gear so every time he hit it's just all the forces in the point of the toe and it's it, points went up man so it's up to you whether or not you want to do that uh obviously or i would say obviously if you're going to do that i'd recommend it for more close range techniques such as this, close to close uh, mid-range, mid-range and beyond, I feel like you should still be dorsiflexing, or dorsiflexing, you should be plantar flexing, so toes like this, flat, when you're kicking, I'm, I'm getting my sports mentions mixed up, and then dorsiflex when you're in to try and get those points. So anyway, I don't wanna keep you guys too long, thank you for watching. Um, don't be afraid to experiment. I mean, this is the final of the Grand Prix, this is the tippy top of the world, and these guys are throwing device or uh, these guys are throwing kicks that you know may or may not work they're still trying stuff so in your guys's matches don't be afraid to try stuff um but that's it for today leave your comments down below i'll see what you guys think thanks for watching please like and subscribe thank you bye